but it's a good thing. We need this right now. We need to have all of this craziness happening. Opinion on microdosing mushrooms. Is it a fad? Is it good for us? What's the downsides? Well, that's a really great question because I think that it is becoming a little bit of a fad in a sense where everybody's microdosing. Okay, not everybody. Um, if you're somewhat in the spiritual uh, genre or you are someone who is is looking for some, some really great mental wellness, um, you may have come across information on magic mushrooms, psilocybin, and microdosing. Um, I don't really want to call it a fad because I think that, you know, microdosing and mushrooms have been around for so long. In fact, one of the things that comes to mind to share is that if you look back at some of the biblical um, artwork, you'll see mushrooms along with Jesus and other um, other really profound uh, um well, I guess I would say sages, right? Others that have that have walked the planet very enlightened. And so mushrooms and psilocybin has been around for a long time. It's not something that's new or a fad in that sense, but I think it's kind of a fad in the sense of a lot of people are now starting to look into it and they're opening their minds to it. They're, they're wanting to explore, you know, how do I get out of the, the heaviness of what's happening right now on planet earth? There's so much going on. You know, whether it's something that's happening to you in your life and your relationships specifically, or it's something happening in your community, or it's something happening in the collective consciousness, there is a lot happening right now. So I get it. Um, I'm a big fan of microdosing. It's not something that I do all the time, but it's something that I do find to be just a really great way to just boost my neuroplasticity. Um, we drink coffee like no tomorrow. And if you've read Michael Pollan's book, um, uh, it's a book on plants. I have it over on my desk, but um, he talks a lot about caffeine and about coffee and the coffee bean and, and the activations that it can, can produce in your brain. And so I think looking at microdosing like that is also something that will become very mainstream. Um, we've looked to mother nature to help heal us for years, whether it's homeopathic, um, you know, naturopathic, um, you know, <laughs> witchery, <laughs> alchemistic ways, um, however you want to look at it. Uh, it has been around for a long time because mother nature is here to help heal us. So don't be afraid of these little mushrooms. Um, they are here to help heal us and they're help here to help heal us back to wholeness right? Heal us to our, our innate connection to the divine, to our own inner intelligence, and to get out of this crazy mind mess that we are experiencing here. But it's a good thing. We need this right now. We need to have all of this craziness happening because otherwise you guys would just be like strolling along. You guys, meaning everybody out on planet Earth, strolling along sort of like in the matrix and not really realizing that there are programs at play. So the mushrooms also help us to just get a little bit beyond some of the programs so that we can get out of some of the self-doubt, um, some of the self-judgment, some of the sadness, um, just some of the heaviness, the energies that are at play that just don't make us feel great a lot of the times. So don't look at it as, you know, something that you're going to lose your mind or any of those things. It's not that at all. Microdosing mushrooms is better than coffee. It's better on your gut. Um, I don't have all the clinical data, but I'll tell you what, I know a lot of people that do. And I would highly encourage you to look at my psychedelics resource guide on the website. Um, I list so many amazing uh, clinical operations and many, many websites and people that are really on this scientifically. They talk about how the mechanism of action works and all of that. And so uh, me not being an expert in, in the details of how it's working on our brain chemistry, I think it's best to head over to bethbell.me and pick up that psychedelic resource guide to find out. So thank you for asking that beautiful question. And if you have any more questions about uh, psychedelics or mushrooms, I am happy to answer those because they are uh, mother nature's medicine. All right, let's go on to the next question.